an arson attack at a cricket pavilion in Sussex has put the future of a local team at risk. £10,000 worth of equipment was being stored in the building, which was razed to the ground in Bognor Regis. Well, now, Oldwick Cricket Club is making a desperate attempt to raise enough money to keep on playing, as Sam Holder now reports. The Ashes of Oldwick Cricket Club. Not the name of an amateur test series, but what's left of the local club's pavilion. Totally destroyed in a mindless arson, now putting Aldwick's future in doubt. Ian Guppy is on the club's committee and in a bizarre twist also works for the fire service and took the first calls about the arson. It was quite surreal because as soon as she said where she lived I knew what she was talking about and from hearing the second and third calls I knew exactly what was on fire. So I was trying to contact people from our club. We deal with numerous calls of, on a daily basis. It never really, you kind of become detached, you know. The fact this is something that is personal to me, involves me, involves my family, involves my friends. Um, it just, just numb. Inside was equipment for the club's 51 players, from their teens to their 70s. Police still don't know who's responsible, but the building was broken into the night before. Nothing was taken, but now nothing is left. Brutal honesty, it could end us. It could absolutely end us. You know, we haven't got large bank accounts. We don't have large benefactors. Everybody that comes here and, and works at the club volunteers. So actually, it could end us. The building is council owned, so insured. But everything inside, from kit to microwaves to speakers, has been lost. Aldwick Cricket Club have launched a crowdfunding appeal online to raise the £10,000 needed. The season's due to begin on the wicket here at the beginning of April and that means Aldwick have to find a new pavilion and all the equipment they need within the next two months. This is a community club at heart and they're hoping their season isn't out before they've even come to the crease. Sam Holder, ITV News, Bognor Regis.